Well, hello. Are you here for the room tour? How our bedroom looks at the moment. <laughs> I don't even know how to show you this to you guys. This is my bedroom. <laughs> None of our furniture matches. So today I thought I'm going to take you on a changing rooms journey. So all our furniture is second hand. Um, hand me downs and gifts from relatives and family or friends that don't want it anymore. So I thought, I thought it would be a good time to learn how to upcycle furniture. Yeah. I haven't completely decided on anything yet. Well, actually, that's a lie. I have two bedspreads or like bed covers that I want to be able to use in this room. Well, two or three. So I'm going to work my theme around that. I don't want to change my blinds and I, I'm not changing the carpet. Wish me luck a magic wand or something but it's not it's only a paintbrush so welcome to moggy box craft i'm deborah and today i am going to attempt to upcycle this unit so i'll get cracking okay, first things first i'm just going to wipe down all the cabinet should i paint the handles as well Take them off. Take the handles off. It's not the right time to be sat in this. I'm sat in like 10 o'clock at night. That's a light, it's 10 to 11. I figure, get the first coat on tonight, it can dry all night, and then tomorrow we might get it finished. Questionable. I know, very questionable. And I'll make a decision about the handles later. Do I distress it? Do I not? Let's just wipe down the pieces that are actually going to get paint on them. Is that how it works? I thought it'd be easier to take the drawers out. That seems like a logical plan to me. Look how stained this is. Can you see that? Because we start our morning with coffee, because it's the only way to start a day, isn't it? Coffee's essential. So we've wiped down the unit, taken out the drawers, taken off the handles, and this is the paint I'm going to be using. And graphite. I also picked up this brush from B&Q. Um, this is the closest I could find to a round brush. So the idea is you swish the paint around in every which way direction and apparently it doesn't really matter. You can be the judge of that. So, like, and, like, do I paint the inside? There's probably not much point, is there? Well, that was fun. I can't find a certain stick or anything to prize open my can with and I don't want to go to the shed. So I've got a chopstick, a skewer and a knife. Give it a really good stir. And apparently, you just go for it. So, I will. I hear thin coats is the best way. I think this is the first time I've ever used chalk paint. So if I get it wrong, that's okay. Oh, I also read that once you've got it on, don't keep going back over it, just keep going. And I think I've got too much jean, so I'm not sure if that's um, going to be possible. I just want to do more and more and more. That's the real problem here. How are we really feeding around here? Oh my god, it's drying already. <gasps> danger, danger. Hello, Mr. Andy. Sorry. Right. Very well. Like my first attempt. It's a good looking start. <laughs> well, 
I've been assured that you use little and you just brush in every which way. You'll need to sand the towel or anything first, no? Nope. No, brilliant. <laughs> oh no, there's a hair. <gasps> no, some of the videos I've watched suggested that I thin down the paint a bit. But I'm not going to. Because more is more. Well, that is the most hideous coat of paint I think I've ever tried to put on. Like, it is just like. <laughs> Apparently, you can't do it wrong, you just have to get it on. So, I'm going to believe all the YouTube videos I watched. <laughs> I mean, YouTube can't be wrong, can it? Do all their fancy ideas. So, we're just painting the drawers. I mean, so far, I would say it's going on really quickly, really easily. A reasonable amount of coverage because I'm doing the thinnest of coats. I think I've heard it's because they've got lots of pigment in them, it's like, which is just different from normal paint rather than dyes. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. And everything is looking like it is drying really quickly as well. I can see now why people might use, have to like use a water spray. But yeah, that's it all on. That was quick. A little bit too quick. Makes me feel a bit like I've done it wrong. So anyway, we've got another chest of drawers like this and you're sat on top of it. So I'm going to go to repeat the, the same process what I've done here on the drawer that you're sat on. And I guess we'll uh oh, hair. Why is there hairs in everything? So that's the first coat all dry this morning. Um, I seem to have got quite a lot of bits like this. Yes, that bit of hair needs to be dealt with, doesn't it? Anyway, good morning. It's the next day. Um, everything's dried. I've left everything to dry overnight. I don't know if you can see this here. So. I think really what's happened is I've not cleaned my units properly. Do a second coat. Uh, we shall go from there. That was kind of my plan this morning. I have got a little dish of water here as well in case the paint is too thick. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I guess we just go for it and Hope for the best. Is that my motto? That is the motto. As we all know. I am surprised how far this paint goes. I mean, I don't know if you can see, this is how much I've used so far. Which I don't think is that much, really. I'm going to carry on painting all these bits of furniture. Get my second coat done. And I will show you what that looks like when I'm finished. Can't look any worse. Right, well, it's a bright new day. Okay, for the drawer handles, I've decided I'm going to paint them silver. Let's see what I'll try. And to try and hopefully get them to dry properly, I'll use a coat peg and then balance them on my error. And hopefully that'll work. Yeah, so I've given them a little spray, well two of them, um, and I'm not super sure I'm happy with the result. So I think what I'm going to do, leave these guys to dry, and I think I'm actually going to paint them all with chalk paint, and then just do a little spritz of silver over the top. It's also not as shiny as I thought it would be, but maybe that's just because the surface they're on top of. 
but I'll let these guys dry, see what these two look like, make some sort of decision from there. So while I wait for my hand loss to dry and decide what to do with them, whether I paint them or silver or go with the grey look, I am going to use some finishing wax, that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to apply it with an old rag or a paintbrush. Where's my paintbrush going? I don't think this is the right type of paintbrush but I don't really have anything else and I don't really want to spend any more money on this project than we actually have to. So what does it look like? Oh, okay. So that's what it looks like. And again, what I've discovered is good old online stuff, good old YouTube. Um, you just rub it in and apparently it can take up to like three weeks to cure. Although this does... So dry in 15 minutes. Apply it sparingly in small areas at a time with a brush or soft cloth. Allow 10 minutes to dry, then buff with soft cloth to desired sheen level. Will we just give that a try? Are we, are we try? I thought about the stress in this, but I thought there's no point. Because after a few months in my house, it'll be distressed anyway. And we just rub this all in apparently to protect it. Right, I've just finished waxing this one. <laughs> already I feel like I've rubbed off I don't know if you can see any of that edges does that look okay or not? I don't know so maybe this one actually you can sort of see where I've rubbed it off oh. so side by side this one well this one has been waxed this one has not so a fair amount of difference in colour. This wax does feel really easy to apply. I'm going to use my little bit of brush as well in, in the edges, just so I can actually get it in there properly. This is really only my testers to sort of see if I like it or not, or how hard wearing it is. Well, I'll continue waxing and I'll get back to you when it's all done. So I've done all the drawers up here. You can't really see the top of them, but they're mine. So, where do we even start with this? Nooks and crannies? I don't know. So it's definitely got a darker colour. I don't know if that means it's going to stay darker or does it get a bit lighter? I, mean, I think it maybe gets a little lighter as it dries. It's relatively easy enough to apply. So I shall continue waxing. And we'll see how it goes. How guys, I don't know how well you're going to see this, but I put on the wax and I really don't like the way it looks. I think I've applied it either too thickly and I've not buffed off in time. So I have decided to repaint everything. So I've painted and I've actually whapped on a clear varnish. So that's kind of, you can see that particularly well. That is how they're looking right now. Um, this one I've just painted, I'm waiting for that little blob to dry. And this one I've just put on yeah, a clear coat of this. So I've just put on a wee oh, don't want to fall in there. So I've put on a wee coat of this guy. So we'll see how that dries, and hopefully it'll be a whole lot better than before. I've also painted the door handles, or the the cupboard handles, whatever you want to call them. Um, I've just done them in chalk paint, and I'm just going to go back now and paint them. I think with a little bit of. A rose gold spray paint and just give them a dust over the top so I think that'll look really pretty. The next project is this desk. It is a computer desk but I use it as a vanity unit or a dressing table I guess. So I've already taken off the handles and we've wiped everything down. My plan is to paint a green colour I think or a grey. Well, we'll see how that goes. And then this unit <laughs> I've already pulled out the drawers, but I'll show you that 
the drawers in it in a little minute. And the chairs to match my dressing table, this is looking pretty sore. So for the chair, again, I've wiped everything down on the chair, give it a good clean. I've already actually taken this off and screwed it. So I should put that to the side so I can get to work on the chair. All my supplies I'll be using, hopefully. So I've decided to upcycle pretty much everything in this bedroom. First thing we're going to tackle, I think, is the chair. Because I quite know how I'd like that to look. And when I tell you that, I know how I'd like the other pieces to look, I think. So I've gone ahead and already removed this hideous... I mean, I don't even know what that is. I think it's... is it paint? I'm not even sure. So that can go over there. I will recover that later and get started on the chair. So the first colour I think I'm going to use is this graphite colour. Same colour as I've used on my bedside table. Tables. First coat of paint on this chair. I'm going to probably do two coats, I think. And then the plan is, I think, to sponge on the green. Just putting a really light coat of paint on this chair. First coat on the chair. So just going to leave that to dry and crack on with painting this guy. So I'm going to paint this computer desk and now dressing table the same colour all over. I'm not entirely sure where to start with this. Actually, I do know where to start. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea, but I'm going to pour some paint on the top of here and roll it. Is that a good idea? Let's find out. Oh me, oh my, this is probably a really bad idea. Paint in sort of the edges of the drawer first. Put that brush down. And then with the flat pieces, I'm just going to go back over with my roller very carefully. And the paint dries so fast. You've got to be fast doing this, but not too fast so you don't like splash paint everywhere. Yeah, I've tried sort of doing the crisscross on my other units, but I really just didn't enjoy... Yeah, I, did it. I didn't do this on my chest of drawers, the little ones, bedside tables, and I didn't like the effect. So, I'm going to try this and see if I like it any better. Fingers crossed. That's the first coat on. Oh, well that was nearly a fail. Started painting and forgot to press record. Bugger. So this beautiful dresser, you can see it. Don't mind my hideously messy wardrobe in the background. So I have decided to paint this drawers this beautiful green. We need to sleep tonight at some point and all <laughs> the drawers are on the bed piled up. I need to get cracking. So I'm going to paint the outskirts first and then pop the drawers back in and I'm hopefully just going to paint the drawers while they're in there. I'm just going to crack on and get this painted. The gazillion dog hair stuck to it already. I'll show you again when um, I've popped the drawers back in and I'm trying to paint around them. That's the first coat of paint on the outside of my chest of drawers. So we're just going to leave that to dry along with the chair and the desk. Lovely. So my plan for my chair and my computer desk dressing table is to somehow dab the green paint, Bramwell, with a sponge onto it. So basically my plan is <laughs> I'm just using kitchen scooter sponge. I'm gonna take off, just gonna take off the scooty bit from the sponge. So I'll be using the good side of the sponge, not the bit that was attached. Get rid of this. And I'm just going to shape just going to cut the ends so it's a little bit softer, or at least try to. 
So I've just, well does that even help? What a mess I'm making, oh well. So that's the plan. Just so I don't need to get any harsh edges. So there we go. I've got a plate that we never use anymore, so I'm going to put a blob of paint, a blob of paint, I'm going to put a blob of paint on the plate. And then with quite a dry, I don't want to use much paint and just slowly just dab it on the chair. Blob of paint. And then just the smallest. And then just kind of dab it lightly over the chair. We'll see if this works. <laughs> I'll maybe try it on a bit on the chair that I'm not going to see first. Oh, this could work. Yes. Pearl, what are you doing? That's your plan, is it? Go and lie behind the chair. Fantastic. <laughs> so all I'm doing is taking the tiniest amount of paint on my sponge, getting off a lot of the excess paint, and just slowly tapping, dabbing paint where I would quite like it. This is going to take some time. I think I'll get back to you guys <laughs> when it's starting to take shape. And I'm going to have to go back, I think, and just touch up little areas that I would like less green on. But so far, so good. And just slowly work your way around wherever you want the paint. I've chosen to do the edges of my chair. And just slowly work around like that. Just make sure your sponge is pretty dry of paint. And then when I've made a mistake, I've taken the other edge of the scouring pad. And I've just got the tiniest little bit. I know I'm mixing paints everywhere. Don't mind me. Tiny little bit. Make sure it doesn't have any paint on it. And I'm just gently tapping that on the other colour. Just to help it blend in a little bit more. The bigger areas, like these sort of bits, I'm just really lightly dabbing my sponge on. I've finished painting the chair, so I'm going to let this dry. So I'm going to move on to painting the desk now. I'm going to do it the same way I've pretty much done the chair. Again, tiny bits of paint, really lightly. I've been taking it more like, this time take it more on like, the edge of the sponge. <laughs> Beautiful. And I'm just going to gently tap it on and build it up. I feel like I've been doing this all day because I have. I still have to paint the handles. I can't decide what colour to do these. Finish the desk. I stippled on the green and I did go back in with like a scootery thing but it wasn't quite doing the job. So I've ended up taking the dark grey paint again and a brush dipping it just a dry, quite dry, and then just doing like a stipple effect and just dabbing it onto the drawer or any areas I'm not happy with. So that's how my dresser's looking so far. This is how the chair's looking. I'm now going to take my wax and apply it with a brush this time and yeah that's it and hopefully once I put the wax on I'll nearly be finished. Actually I have a bit more to do with this guy. So chairs all waxed. Um, the chest of drawers behind me, I've only done the edges. I've not actually done the middle bits of the, the chest of drawers, simply because I plan to put some wallpaper on it. Just going to wait for tomorrow for all this, this furniture to dry behind me and to side me. I'm going to recover that chair cover down there. I'm going to put wallpaper, hopefully, on the chest of drawers behind me. And with this desk, I'm going to decide what colour of handles it should have. I've just painted the little door handles, so they're just drying. 
and I've just spray painted all the little handles for the green chest of drawers. That's the paints I've used. I'm trying to give it a little bit of a mottled effect by using the clear over the top. Right, this might be the most foolish thing I've done. <laughs> I don't even know what this is called, but I keep seeing it everywhere. De decoupage, decoupage, well, whatever it's called. But a roll of wallpaper. which I've cut into strips or little pieces so my plan is basically to stick them here now you might want to line this up I'm not going to because let's be honest this is my first attempt ever doing this and yeah sorry about the noise um, windows open because you know breathing space and airage and ventilation you know you, you get the gist so my plan, got some um, multi-purpose PVA glue and I'm basically going to paste that onto the drawer and stick on the paper. I don't even know if I really have a great brush for this. I feel like we should use something like, I'll use a slightly smaller brush because oh, I don't really want to get this everywhere. This could be an absolute And yes, I am too lazy to take the things out of the drawers and upend them. That's why we're doing it like this, because in the real world, you kind of have to live and work and to do you know, all the stuff you've got to do, even if you're decorating. So I'm just going to very carefully paint on this glue. Also, there might be proper paint to do this, or proper glue to do this, but sometimes you've got a DIY project and you can't be buying all specials, everything, you just got to try and make it work. So now my glue's on, I'm just going to take my piece of paper and uh, stick it on. So I'm just going to quickly try and cut off some of this excess. I do have a standing knife somewhere, an exacto blade. They've made sure my hands are really clean. As always, there's no time for measuring. It's going to be beautiful, honest. Sometimes, I think the only way to learn something is to really try it. And then you can kind of, you know, you can watch umpteen videos and... But sometimes it takes making the mistakes to realise what you've done or how to improve it. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. So I've got, I've got two stand knives. If you're going to do this, be very careful. Find a more adulty adult to help you. There's going to be lots of experts doing this. Be like, no, don't do like that. I'm like, whoa, whoa matey. We are just going to hope for the best. I love about hoping for the best. So very gently. I think what I really need is a straight angle, a straight edge or something. Well, that didn't work, did it? Look at the state of it. So, <laughs> very frustratingly, I've gone back and cut, hopefully, the exact size this time. Now, the trick is going to be trying to match it up now. So, I think that way around. And I don't think once this goes on, it's going to be very easy to slide around. But no, that looks good. Nice crisp edge on it as well. At least with a slight shadow on it, it definitely makes it appear to be a nice crisp edge. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. 
Yeah. One down! Five to go. So yes. And to complete this, I have all the tools. What is it? Ah, the things with no idea. I don't know how that goes. Got all the, all the stuff, all the tools, but no idea. So, that's one done. Long night, but all the wallpaper is now in the drawers. And actually, I've gone over it all with the PVA. I haven't watered it down or anything. So, I'm gonna go wash my brushes now and wait for this to dry. So I'm just gonna leave all that to dry. I have procrastinated so long on this chair seat. It's actually the last piece I've got to do to finish our bedroom makeover. Mostly because I couldn't decide what colour to do the seat. I think we have to take off all this fabric. Oh, this is going to be awful, isn't it? Do I really want to do this? I've got my staple gun. Got my staples. I finally decided to go for. I can't even remember where this came from, but I decided to go for a nice velvety red fabric. I'm basically going around this seat cover and taking off all the material, a pair of pliers, and just taking out all these staples. Ugh. Oh, come on. So, there's quite a lot of staples in this seat cover. Got this bit off. Oh my god! Why is there so many little nails everywhere? Everywhere! Ah! Let's keep going. We'll get, we'll get there. I have never. Well, it's not that I like recover the chairs all the time or anything, but honestly, I don't think I've ever spent so long taking out some myself. I think I've spent about two hours taking out staples. Anyway, everything's finally off. So, goodbye, hideous piece of fabric, and this is what we're left with. I mean, this is crazy. With this bit of edging around it, and then this bit covering everything, and I'm not sure I can put it together again to this. I'm just going to put the material back on the same way. Um, I think I'm just going to try and recover it plainly so it's just the same shape as this. God, that looks horrible. I should have disinfected that a little bit. These are all the staples I've taken out. I mean, this is ridiculous. I've cut my piece of material just so it's about an inch or two um, so it comes in over an inch or two over the side so I've turned it the right way around and upside down does that make, I don't know if that makes any sense and I'm just going to take in the corners and just do one staple to start with here and to start with. So that's all my corners in place. Then I'm going to maybe start with the middle of each bit again. So I'm just going to work around all the edges and just Keep everything nice and secure and then just make sure that my corners are nice and neat and I tuck them in. I'm just going to keep on working around and put a gazillion more pins back into this. I have stapled all around the edges and tucked in the corners if you can even see that. Oh, so yeah, I've stapled all the way around and I've cut all the fabric as well. And on the edges, I've just 
tucked in the material as best I could. And that's how it's looking at the back. And this is the nice, the seat side. Oh, I love that fabric. So I'm going to staple back on this piece of material onto the underneath section just to hide everything. And then <laughs> we're done. Here's the finished room. So this is how our bedroom looks now. Bedside tables and the end, um, I think I showed you I spray painted them um, like a clear lacquer. And the handles, I've just done this, is that even focusing? Rose gold handle on them. Got these cool lamps from, I think they were from the range actually. Can't remember how much they were. I think they made like 15, 15, 20 pound. So I've got a pair of them. This is the bedspread I wanted the room to match. The walls I've done, I think it's called blush copper. I've painted this mirror as well. A little red detail. This mirror has been done in a rose gold metallic too. The finished chest of drawers. Wallpaper was a total nightmare to do. That's the handles I've done in the rose gold. I gave the whole thing a coat with PVA glue, but I am really pleased with how that's turned out. Finished chair. Love the way this chair has turned out. And that's the finished desk and chair. I've ended up doing the handles, this sort of green colour. That is our finished bedroom. So I hope you found this useful or entertaining. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this journey watching how I've transformed this bedroom. The colour on the walls um, is called Blush Copper. To be honest, I wasn't 100% sure about it to start with, but with the red accents and touches here and there, I'm pretty chuffed how it's all turned out. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this slightly frustrating, at times, transformation and me discovering chalk paint and how to paint furniture. Side note, I did see someone post on Facebook today that they've used Annie Sloan chalk paint, is that how you pronounce it? To paint, um, like, their sofas. <laughs> I could try that. That's, that's for another video. Anyway, if you'd like to see more of my videos, subscribing is optional, but obviously appreciate it. I hope you find it entertaining or learned something or found it useful. Um, do feel free to share my videos. If you've got any hints or tips, do leave them in the comments below. Give us a wee like. And yeah, subscribing is optional. But if you'd like to see more of my videos and my crafting adventures, please subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <sighs> I'll be glad, to be honest, I'm, I'm glad that's over. <laughs> really glad. I'm bloody knackered. Ah <sighs> oh well. See you next time.